Welcome everybody to The Last Door, Season 2, Episode 4. What could possibly be the final ever episode of The Last Door? I don't know if they have Season 3 planned. So this could be the, the episode, the chapter, where everything is tied up. Why is that so small? Anyway, he must be stopped. Okay, playing as a different character. Hey! Is this Alexander? It might be. We haven't seen him like this since Season 1. I think it's him, you know. Where are we going? So he's on the other side, right? He's gone through the veil. We have not come this far. Ooh. Okay. Who's that down there in the other yellow robe? Well, we can examine him, I think. To see our work ruins now. Oh, that... that could be David. And off he goes. Remarkably, I still haven't got tired of listening to that. Okay, here we go. We left the black waves of that sea behind and walked through the mist. At times, gusts of wind parted the mist, revealing a barren landscape under a dying sun. So we're not playing as another character. It's not like another cop-out like the end of Season 1 where we changed characters. We're still playing as Wakefield? We're on the other side. Brilliant. At first... I could not contain my many questions, but Devitt's only reply was a grave silence. Eventually, I lapsed into an uneasy quiet and resolved to follow my patient. I knew not where. We wandered through the vast desert without any apparent goal. On occasion, vague shapes appeared in the distance, crumbling towers and abandoned cities, lost amongst the rippling dunes. Cool. The passage of time lost its meaning. I had traversed that world all my life, all the world's life. Our journey was eternity. Then the man at my side, whom I had followed for so long, stopped. He spoke for the first time. We are nearing the threshold. It is the starting point, Doctor, the first place to look. I will be waiting on the other side. Remember this, I will not be here forever. Darkness will light your way, but then you will be alone. We've heard that. We heard that back at the Opium Den, didn't we? Here we are. What could be the final episode of The Last Door, Beyond the Curtain? Really looking forward to this. Here we go. So yes, we're back with Wakefield. This is good. This is great. We don't appear to have any items, though. Um, so here we are on the other side. Let's go left. See what we can do. There's pillars and broken columns all over the place. Things in the distance, vague shapes, but I can't go towards the horizon, it seems. And there's no luck going left, it seems. So let's go right. Archways. What could my companion have meant? I'm not really sure. The threshold. I knew of this. Strange memories returned to me of another life before the desert was my everything. So he's been walking around so long that he doesn't remember his old life? Wow. And those cryptic words, Darkness will light your way. It was not the first time I had heard them. No, it was the whispering on the other side of the wall. It was Devitt all along. They were from a dream. A terrible dream when I had begun to follow the trail of my missing patient and taken my first steps to uncovering the secret world of the veil. Oh, here we go. I wonder if I'm ever going to get out of it. Uh, ooh, okay, I've got my items back. Not that I have many, but uh, 
I've got my trusty lens at least. There's someone here. Wearing an orange robe, actually. In this place, the ancient shadows created by human reasoning tremble in sheer terror. Its name is Zyalathal, the Last Curtain. Well, we've pretty much made it. Okay, um... Is he a member of the playwright, I wonder? So we have... We actually have an area to go to here, it seems. Uh, not over there. Let's keep going to the right, though. In fact, I think I see... Yeah, there's someone else down here. Again. Wearing the same robes. Wearing the same masks, I guess. The scorching light of this dead sunset bleeds through my petrified fingers. My eyes burn. I feel them melting like candle wax. Damn, that's gotta suck. Okay, let's keep going to the right. Seems he's quite frustrated with that column for some reason. There's another one. Right at the top. Okay. I wonder if one of these is going to be Alexander. These ruins, built by beings long forgotten, grant access to the last threshold. You are welcome to enter the ruins, but you will need to find your own key in order to reach the threshold. Okay. Well, as you can see, I don't have any key of any sorts, just my lens. So, uh... Uh, oh, okay. We can go in, yep. Yeah. As you said, we're welcome to enter. The man at the entrance said that these ruins contain the access to the threshold. But I see nothing. Devitt said it is the starting point, the first place to look. Darkness will light your way. What did he mean? Darkness will light your way, okay. I'm assuming, you know, it's not going to be a day and night thing in this weird dimension on this other side through the veil. What, do we have to close our eyes or something? Do we have to walk blindly or... I don't know. What we got anyway? I see nothing but ruins. What was it that Devitt said? Darkness will light your way. Darkness will light your way, okay. There's actually something that looks a bit out of place over here. Yeah, I can examine it, actually. It's a poster for a theatrical show, but it has neither a title nor a date. Either way, we're going to take a look at it. In fact, we're going to take it. Oh, perhaps it'll prove useful. Yeah, I think we've seen this, uh, I don't think we've seen this since season one, actually. But there you go. Yeah, we're taking it with us. It could prove useful. Maybe I can show it to the people outside. Uh, same thing as we read earlier. Okay. So perhaps when I come back and I have this key, this will be slightly different. There'll be a doorway here or something. Can we keep going? Nope, that's it. That is it. Okay. Well, let's go back. Let's show the poster to the people outside. And if that doesn't work, well, we're going through that archway. So... Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Maybe only one of them knows about it? I don't know. Let's see, what about you? Hmm, no, probably not the best idea to show it to him anyway, considering what he said about his eyes. Uh, this one? No, okay, never mind. Let's go through the archway, see where this goes. Strange. Okay, there's more, more members of the playwright here, it seems. Uh, the guy sitting on a chair. Hi. Look to the sky. It reaches to the earth, but we'll never meet it. Can you see the magnificence of this infinite horizon? The cold, unattainable, all-embracing darkness. This is the outer limit of the threshold. Not far from here, the black waves of truth wash upon the veil that covers human eyes, and it falls apart. So we're very, we're very, very close to understanding all of this, by the sounds of it. We just have to go through those ruins and get to the last threshold. What about you? Hello. There is no death but rebirth. There is no void but awakening. Okay. All right. It seems that they've all gone through some very strange experience. There's a forest here. A path winds into the forest, but these trees are too dense for me to go any further. Really? Is it because it's a 2D world? <laughs> Can't you just go around? Oh. Is this guy dead? No. No, he's shaking his head back and forth. I'm too tired to go on. To keep seeking what was promised us. But at least here I'm safe. Safe from the terrible hazard of peering through my own shadow. Wow, okay. And what's this? The path is blocked by sharp rocks. I cannot make my way through. Okay. Perhaps I need to destroy the rocks. Perhaps I need to chop down these trees. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go down that path. Um, I think I actually saw someone to the left of, uh, of the archway we came through. So let's speak to him. Or her, I suppose. Yeah, you, with the big mouth. Hello. 
Raise your arms, for the wind calls our name. The hour has come for us to take flight one last time. Yes, they all seem, to me, slightly mad, but whatever experience they've gone through has, uh, has changed them completely, I think. Okay. We seem to have found a way through. That's good. Ooh. Okay, we've got a house here, I think. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's examine the window. A light is on inside, but I cannot see the room clearly. Can we go in? Looks like the door's wide open. Have we been here before? This looks very familiar. Maybe not from... Maybe not from this game specifically. Maybe from Season 1. Can we go in? We can go in. Good. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We have a grandfather clock here. The pendulum strokes is sickly slow, but they seem to keep time in this place. Where time, apparently, has no meaning. That's a bit strange. Okay. We cannot go any further to the right, it seems. What's this? It's the window, right? A grey light seeps through the glass. Barely any light is entering. Okay. For a second, I thought this might be the manor at the very beginning of Season 1. The one that Devitt explores. But if that's the case, I think there should be a staircase here. Maybe this is the Professor's home? Maybe not. There's a bird cage or something here. Let's examine that to start with. This is all very odd. There is something inside the bird cage. Okay. I'm assuming it's not a bird. It's a root? It's some kind of root. It seems to have a human shape. So it does. Nothing else in there. An empty bird cage. Right. So we started here. Let's uh let's examine the paintings that lack any form or composition. They are a uniform shade of the purest black imaginable. Righto. Ah. Even through the veil, even on the other side, there are locked doors. Damn. Never mind. Never mind. What about this one over here? Surely. It opens. Okay. Through we go. And now we appear to be in a basement. Is this like a combination of all the places that I've been to before? It kind of feels that way. The exterior made me think this might be Anthony Beechworth's house, but then... It, this is more like Professor Wright's home. Hello. There is something inside that cage. A shadow staring at me with dead eyes. Well, let's stare right back, shall we? Wow, okay. Who is it? I can see something in it. No, through it. As though I were staring into a dark void. Off in some remote distance, colourful shapes flow in seemingly impossible patterns. Is this what Devitt meant? The darkness will light your way? What's going on? Oh, I don't like this. Ah, much better. Bright. Ooh. Jeremiah Devitt. Edward Street 24, Westminster, London. Correct? I should see Stalling and send it. Set the plan in motion. But what then? Lead my old friend through this dangerous journey? Is that Anthony? This is like pre-season one, isn't it? This is how Devitt gets involved in the first place. The shadow is gone. But it seemed to leave something behind. There is something on the cage floor, and it is a rusty key. Okay, I know of a locked door. We're going to go back there in a moment. What's this? Oh, okay. I thought there might have been... I think that's the shadow or something on the back. I thought that might have been like a big dent or something in the wall. A big crevice we, we could walk through. But no, let's try the rusty key on that door back there. That must have been Anthony Beechworth, right? Truth be told, I, I haven't seen him in a while, and I can't remember what he looks like. But maybe we are, in fact, in his home. Rusty key? It seems to work. What's that sound? Sounds like someone's screaming. Hang on, is it coming from the right? I can't hear it anymore. Maybe it was that door I just unlocked. Let's go in. Okay. 
Uh, is this a, a bride or something? Oh boy. Hello. Oh shit. Another flashback right now. Is this the time? Yes. Maybe this is the manor from the very beginning. If that's the case, then he's about to hang himself, right? On one of the rafters in the uh, in the attic. Uh, uh, what do we got anyway? The words of my father. So much has happened because of them. Alexander swears that this time we will succeed. That the Hoopo will undo all our mistakes, free us from the terrible haunting gaze. But should we not accept the consequences of our actions? Seems to be having doubts himself. Uh, what do we got up here? I explored all this, and I had a look at all this in Season 1, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so much suffering, so many deaths. For what? What have we attained so far? Well, right now, not too much. Didn't I have to, like, break the tooth off of this, like, was it, is it a lynx or something? I think it's a lynx. My faithful companion, who kept many secrets with me over the long nights of research. Okay. This letter, Vedete Nequis Skiat. There's that phrase again. Haven't heard it too much in Season 2, actually. It'll be enough, I think. It's time to send it. I'm just not sure that it's the right thing to do. Oh, the birds are calling. <laughs> well, we know he did send it. He got Devitt into this mess, and therefore he got Wakefield and Kaufman into the mess as well. And what do you know? The shadow has vanished. So every shadow we find, we find some sort of flashback? Some more information? It seems so. What's this? A slate disc. Alright. What's this for? Can we examine it in, you know, closer detail? Uh, it's a black disc made of something like a slate. Okay. Right. Don't fancy a kip right now, apparently. There's a large crack in the wall. A few rays of unearthly light stream through it, but that is about that, I think. Really. Um, okay. Could I use the slate disc to chop down a tree or something to get into the forest? Uh, what about these paintings up here? Uh, they're all the same, lacking any form or composition. Weird. Let's go back then. And I definitely can't go to the right. Alright, let's go out. And let's go past the house if possible. Can we keep going to the right? Uh, oh, we can! Yes, we can! Okay, good. This is so very similar to Season 1. Didn't I have to find a dead bird and feed it to a cat so I could get into the basement back in Season 1? It's something like that. The ground is soaked in blood. Black feathers are strewn about. What happened here? And there's a gramophone. I don't remember it being there, honestly. I remember it being inside. An old gramophone. There is no disc. Oh, oh, oh! The slate disc goes on this? Apparently so! When I put the disc on the gramophone, it started spinning on its own. Wait. Is that a melody coming from the house? Is it? It might be. You must have better ears than I do. Let's head back inside, I think. But what's this? This used to be the back door that went into the kitchen area, I believe. I guess it's been blocked up. Yeah, rocks have been piled against the wall, as if to conceal something. That music. Where's that coming from? <laughs> Secret doorway. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes, let's go. Oh, yes, hello. Right. It's changed a bit since I was last here. It is just the shadow of the lynx projected onto the wall. I thought it might have been a lynx. There you go. And that music in the background. It's the same track that Devitt listened to. So this is the real lynx. Is there a piece missing? Is there a tooth missing or something? At the moment, it's just a lynx. Can we go up? We can. We can't. Shit. <laughs> the hatch is locked. Okay. Are we looking for another key then? I suppose so. Um, so, I took it for a stuffed lynx at first, but I think it's actually made of wax. 
Was the first one made of wax? I don't know if it was, you know. What's he doing? Oh my, I accidentally broke off a piece of its mouth. <laughs> Just like David did, I think. So I've got the jaw of the lynx, made of wax. Okay. Did that root just move? Or like the top of it, did it just move from the right to the left? Did I just see that? I don't know. I think I might be going insane. It might be the Mandrake plant from uh, the Harry Potter series, I'm not sure. Um, okay, what do we do? Wait, there we go! There, 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 it just moved again! Okay, this is alive, this root. This is weird. The music actually seems louder here. Maybe it's coming from the basement? Well, there's something coming from the basement. Let's check that cage out again. This is pretty cool. It, oh, what's this? Oh, there's a dead cat on the floor. I think it's rotting. It's... her eyes are missing. This is very, very similar to the opening of season one. There is something on the floor beside her mouth, and it looks to me like a key. Is it a key? Is it for the roof hatch? Is it for the attic? Please tell me it is. It's a golden key. I think the last one, actually, in season one was a golden key. Let's head back. I think we're getting somewhere. Maybe this is the, the key we're looking for to get to the last threshold? I doubt it, to be honest. But maybe. That's my, uh, my next guess, if this doesn't work. Okay, so up here. Well, he hasn't said no yet. It works. It bloody works. All right. Why don't I have a lantern? In fact, why don't I have any items right now? Ah. Hello? Who are you? You are of no worth to us anymore. There was barely any worth to begin with. All right. Is this another one or is he teleporting? Is this really the best option your supposedly brilliant mind could envision? A few meaningless words, a pathetic attempt of your guilt-shattered conscience to remedy the situation, and then you hope to wash the blood from your hands with a cheap exit. Did I? Did I? Tell me more, mysterious man. Look upon yourself, Anthony. See what you have become. Do they think I'm Anthony Beechworth? Witness your only true legacy. Oh, that's what I can hear. That's him hanging himself, right. They weren't talking to me after all, they were talking to him. Is that Mr. Beechworth? I think so, yeah. Someone must have given him a bit of a push, actually, for him to be swinging like that. I see something through the shadow, slowly taking form. Some sort of flashback? Oh, maybe. Yes, we're back in the Beechworth's house. Is that, that's his wife that died. Anna. Anna. Sweetheart. How did this happen? I think when Jeremiah Devitt was here, there was writing all over these walls. Too late. It's too late for us. But he still can choose. I have... I have to warn him. Devitt? You have to warn Devitt, I assume? Oh, what's going on? Slightly different ending this time. <laughs> Even the inventory. Okay. Uh, right, we've been kicked out of the house, it seems. What's this, though? This, this is new. There's something on the ground near where the masked person was standing. I guess he dropped it. What is it? It is a fragment of a broken mask. A piece of a Greek tragic mask. Okay, I guess we're looking for the other half. Alright. Let's just go back a minute. Let's just go back into the house if possible. I actually want to check out the attic again. We were kind of forcefully removed, so I, I want to examine Anthony if he's still there. But I don't know. I think I examined his shadow, so... Yeah, if we're following the same pattern, he's probably gone. So, in here... Are oh, the ladder's broken! 
No way of fixing it, probably. The ladder is broken. Okay, well, unless I can fix it with a, a wax jaw and a root. A mask piece. Okay. Can I do anything with these items yet? I don't know. I feel that maybe I'll need to use the, the wax jaw. <laughs> that little root is kind of cute. I think I might have to use the jaw to maybe fix the mask pieces back together, but I'm not sure. I'm sure we're going to find another piece down the line. But is it going to be here? I don't know. Let's just have a look at the basement. If there was going to be anything here, it would probably be in the basement. Is there still a dead cat on the floor? Yep. Cage is open, the shadow is gone. And that is that. Okay. So what's our next move? What do we need to do? How do we find the next mask piece? Maybe outside? Maybe, yeah, let's go around the back again. Maybe the door that led into the kitchen is now open. Someone's moved the rubble out the way, moved the rocks out the way. Hey, hang on, what's this? What is this? Uh, there are two curious symbols engraved on the wall. Looks like a, a bird claw, actually, the first one. What does that mean? Some sort of cryptic alphabet? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'll need to find something that can tell me what that means. And the gramophone? Can I give it another spin? That stops. I cannot get it to start playing again. Can we go any further to the right, into this forest area? No, we can't. Okay. We actually might be done here. Maybe I do need to use the items now. I don't know. Tell you what, let's go back to the archway where I, I sort of originally came through to this area. Um, one one of the people obviously dropped a piece of their mask. What about the others? There are a few others there. I think there were two or three others. Let's just check. So there was one by the forest, one sitting on a chair. He's still there. Does he say anything different? I don't think so. No. 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 Okay. I think it's all the same, and this guy sort of writhing around on the floor. Okay. Yeah, okay. Can we keep going to the right? I thought there were sharp rocks here. Okay, so the environment is really changing around us. Okay, let's, let's go in. Somehow, we are now on a beach. Where is this? It seems that last time we were at Beechworth Manor, perhaps this is meant to be Wickport Beach. I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching part 12 of The Last Door Season 2. This has been a very strange episode so far, and I, I feel it's only going to get stranger. Come back in part 13, we'll explore this new area. Alright, see you then. Hmm, no, probably not the best idea to show it to him anyway, considering what he said about his eyes. Oh, shit. Another flashback right now? Is this the time? Oh, yes, hello. Can we go up? We can. We can't. Shit, <laughs> the hatch is locked. Okay, what do we do? Wait, there we go, there, 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 it just moved again. I feel that maybe I'll need to use the, the wax jaw. <laughs> that, that little root is kind of cute.